Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Dr. Jeremy Pettis, thank you so very much. You're going to be talking about a topic that I think just doesn't get enough press. It's called diabetes. Tell me what you know that we need to know. Yeah, so for people living with diabetes, it's extremely important for them to check their blood sugar regularly because they use that information to make decisions about what food to eat, their activity, what medications they're taking. All these things are important to keep them healthy. But one of the barriers that people can face is that sometimes they don't know what these blood sugar results mean. So for example, they might not know the difference between a blood sugar of 125 and 195, and if they need to take any action there. And this can be particularly important if you're dealing with a low blood sugar, which can be a dangerous situation that does require some immediate attention. I'm so glad that you said that because I think people just assume we know all of this as the consumer because I think you're aware, doctor, Every uh, I feel so much is being put back on a consumer's personal responsibility. Yeah, you know, it, it can be confusing for the patients, for the providers, and things like that. Um, but thankfully, we're starting to use what we know about how people process information and taking that knowledge and applying it to medical technology. So, for example, there's a new blood glucose meter called the OneTouch Vario uh, Flex that actually uses color to help people understand their results. So, for example, when they check their blood sugar, they get that number that I was talking about, but they also get a color associated with it. That would be blue, green, or red to indicate if their blood sugar was low, in range, or high, respectively. And that range can actually be customized for each patient by their healthcare provider. And Go ahead, doctor. You know, I was going to say, it's a simple and easy meter to use, but for people that want a little bit more, it actually has built-in uh, Bluetooth technology. So when they check their blood sugar, it automatically wirelessly syncs it to their smartphone, their Apple or Android device, into a mobile app. And then when they click on the app, they can immediately see all their blood sugar results are stored right there. They can see patterns of their blood sugars. They can see averages. And they can send that information to their family members or friends or even their health care provider. That's so great. That's so Jetson-y. I love that. Let me ask you, Dr. Pettis, you're an endocrinologist, and, and let's just do some basics here. Uh, when you have diabetes, this is the type of doctor you will eventually be assigned to? Eventually. You know, so endocrinologists do all types of things, but diabetes falls under our purview. Um, so we really are diabetes specialists. And a lot of people, when they're first diagnosed, will see their, their regular internist or primary care physician and then may eventually be referred to an endocrinologist. How serious do people need to take diabetes? Let me tell you why I asked that question. I may, it may not make sense to you. The Valder Beebe Show reaches out to baby boomers. That is my audience, the largest audience on the planet here. And within that audience, there are a matrix of diseases and conditions going on, and diabetes seems to be the number one. Mm -hmm. So people do need to take it extremely seriously. An issue is that diabetes can be kind of a silent disease. That if your blood sugars are high for a long time, you might actually not feel any different, but there is damage going on to your body. So people can get a little complacent about it, but they need to be educated and empowered about what the disease is and how to get it under control. But well, Dr. Pettis, you look so young on your, on, on your pre-information. I don't know how you know all of this. But let me ask you this. When they are using the meter and they're, they're getting these colors and this type of thing, how often should they be checking their blood sugar? You know, that really varies on the individual, how long they've had diabetes, what medications they're on. 
but that can range anywhere from one time a day to more than seven or eight times a day, really depending. Okay. Do you have any numbers of how many people have diabetes? As I said, it seems that it, it, it's a rampant disease. Yeah. You know, so in the United States, we're looking at almost 30 million people. And to me, it's kind of hard to put your head around how many people that is. But it comes down to everybody knows somebody with diabetes, whether it's a friend or family member, because it is just so common. And it's getting, you know, there's more and more cases every day. Okay, I know you're the director of type 1 diabetes, but it seems like type 2 is a fast-growing category. Absolutely. Both type 1 and type 2 are increasing, you know, pretty rapidly. It really is an epidemic, and there's lots of reasons for that. But that's why we just need to help people understand the disease, like I was saying, um, because with education really does come power and knowledge. Um, I personally work for a not-for-profit organization called Taking Control of Your Diabetes, uh, that, that works with just that, magic, uh, that message, where we take the education directly to the patient through one of our, our many national conferences. I love it. Let me ask you, uh, uh, I'd love for your team to call me because I'd love for you to, to be able to penetrate the uh, churches because that's where so many people are getting their information. This is where they really talk about their disease. I think they talk about it more at church than they do to their doctor, really. Yeah. You know, and I'm a big proponent of any kind of community. You know, taking people out of their isolated state where, you know, they're just dealing with this at home or by themselves and, and, and sharing this with the community because that does help people not feel alone and it does empower them also. So churches, I'm a huge proponent of this. Okay, where do you send them online to find out more information about the meter and taking their blood sugar and reading their blood sugar? Yeah, so for my organization, Taking Control of Your Diabetes, they can go to TCOID excuse me, tcoid.org. And for more on the OneTouch uh, Vario Flex, they can go to onetouch.com. Dr. Jeremy Pettis, you've been a great guest. I Hopefully you've helped the, the caregivers and the patients by talking about this meter. Thank you so much for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. You'll be hearing from me. All right. Thanks again. Thank you.